Detonate Dead Elementalist is the best all-round League Starter build for 3.23. This build requires very little gear to get up and running, with most of its damage coming from gem levels and the zone level of wherever you're at. This build's damage scales with your map tier, as higher level zones will spawn higher level corpses, making it great for League Start pushing and early Void Stone completion. My version of DD also boasts 95 evade chance without relying on blind and 40,000 armor alongside some physical shift and damage reduction. Your two main abilities are Desecrate and Vol Detonate Dead. Desecrate simply creates corpses on the ground, scaling again with your gem and zone level, while Detonate Dead will explode these corpses with its base damage scaling off of the corpse life. We use this explosion to ignite and proliferate our ignites for an easy 1-2 playstyle. This build is great for a league start with its highly available damage scaling through corpse and zone levels, its ignite playstyle leading to good map clear and easy boss rotations, and its relatively simple and cheap playstyle, all packaged on a witch build, giving easy access to powerful respects into any other ignite build. While mapping, you simply cast Desecrate into the pack and detonate dead it. Your Ignite proliferation will take care of the stragglers and most rares, while your Arcanist brand setup will ensure the tanky rares die fast. Other than that, just maintain your Haste Blessing buff and Shield Charge Frost Blink all around the map. It is very straightforward, but does require cast speed on a few pieces and the tree to feel comfortable. The bossing playstyle is even easier. Maintain a constant Arcanist brand casting and cursing away on the boss to ensure your highest ignite is constantly refreshed with defiled forces. Then you simply fish for high damage ignites using detonate dead while building up your vol DD to eventually pop a focus cooldown shock while nearby the boss and to run under them to apply scorch from your boots. Then use Desecrate to make sure your Vol DD gets all of its explosions out. To put it simply, you're just fishing for good ignites and refreshing that lucky one with Defiled Forces combined with your Arcanist brand setup. DD Elementalist scales its damage through three main ways aside from your damage mods on gear. A level 20 Desecrate to ensure your corpses are a high of level as they can be for every zone you're in. A Kitava's Herald added to your corpse pool by using Ray's Spectre in Act 5 or 10 rooftops, the canals, or from the feeding trough. This Spectre is important because it has a higher corpse life than the normal default generic corpses spawned by your Desecrate. So this is one part of you fishing for a high damage ignite. Lastly, your damage is mainly obtained by the previously mentioned Defiled Forces refreshing your high damage ignites. You're looking to hit your Kitava Herald Corpse alongside a Convergence Window and an Elemental Overload proc, combined with Scorch, your Shock, and of course your Arcanist Brand setup. Refreshing this long lasting ignite is where all of your damage comes from. The damage mods on your gear obviously matter, but if you're missing damage early on, it will almost always be one of these three things. For normal lab, take Shaper of Flames to allow for easy leveling with Ignite Armageddon Brand and providing more damage when you swap to DD. For Cruel Lab, take Mastermind of Discord to apply an extra minus 25 resistance when you expose enemies. In a Merciless, take Heart of Destruction to gain a large amount of AoE while mapping, helping your clear be more comfortable and to gain a large damage boost once you reach the map boss. For Uberlab, you'll take Bastion of Elements to become Reflect Immune and provide a huge elemental damage absorbing shield. Before we move on to the leveling, if you're a new player or just someone who wants to make sure they're following the build correctly, check out the Macro article with our new build tool making leveling easier than ever before, making gearing an absolute breeze with boxes you can check to mark your progress and never miss an upgrade. Also, make sure you sub, because holy f does this take some work. Come on, man, help a homie out. 
It's free. Press that button. With the removal of the wand vendor recipe, you'll instead have to enter the side room of Diala in Act 3. You know, that crazy lady who gives you the butthole acid and the amulet. There, you'll find the flat damage to spells craft for your wand, which is what you'll do in addition to crafting res on all of your gear. To level this build, we'll start with the generic Rolling Magma Witch. Swapping to Armageddon Brand and Cremation before Normal Lab around level 28 or whenever you get the links and gems. In Act 1, obtain Rolling Magma linked to Ellie Prolif and later Combustion at level 8. Holy Flame Totem, Flame Wall, and Frost Blink, later exchanging Frost Blink for Flame Dash at level 10. In Act 2, you'll pick up Herald of Thunder and Ash for your auras and Wave of Conviction to apply exposure. In Act 3, you can 4-link your Rolling Magma with Faster Casting or Added Lightning. And at level 28, you'll swap to a new setup. For this swap, make sure you keep an eye out for two 4-links. A 4-blue and a 1-blue, 2-green, one 1-red. One your 4-blue will be the Armageddon brand setup. And the 1-blue, 2-green, one 1-red one will be your Cremation setup. Then, you'll use Desecrate as Cremation will spawn Magma Balls from Corpses. Flame Ability, Wave of Conviction, and Herald of Ash plus Determination for your Auras. At level 38, you'll pick up Immolate for your Arma and Krima setup. For Armageddon Brand, it'll now be Ignite Proliferation, Combustion, and Immolate, while Cremation will be Krima, LMP, Ellie Focus, and Immolate, making sure you fit in a Shield Charge Faster Attack setup whenever you have that available. You will respec to detonate dead in early maps, specifically when you obtain a few key things. You'll want cast speed on your weapon and amulet and enough energy shield to use your divine blessing with haste. You'll obviously need the sockets and colors to make the swap, a leveled vol detonate dead and desecrate, and you'll want the previously mentioned Kitava Herald Spectre in your corpse pool. Again, it only requires you to raise Kitava's Herald one time in channel or the feeding trough and you'll have it forever on that character and can get rid of the ray specter gem once you have obtained all of these things you are ready to make the slight respec of your tree and a swap to the fully fledged detonate dead build just remember do not flip your desecrate later unless you have a replacement desecrate levels decide how much damage you do Some good early uniques for the build would be an obliteration wand to give you some explosions combined with the elementalist shaper of flames. This gives a very satisfying boost in clear speed and instantly kills most rare monster packs with the combined explosion and ignite. Another great pickup is the unique helmet Elevore, which provides a ton of suppression and gives you flat life recovery when you suppress spell damage, making the build feel much more comfortable early on in the league. The last easy pickup is the unique jewel careful planning which can be socketed in the right side which jewel socket to provide all the dexterity that your build will need your easiest gear upgrades are to use the alterations you obtain from vendoring the identified gear to roll a silver jade granite and quicksilver with evasion rating armor cast speed and reduced effective curses getting some sort of instant mod with bleed removal on your life flask. For the early game, the most important items for DD is the cast speed roll on your scepter and amulet, an anointment for entrench to assist with spell suppression and life flask charge generation, and eventually obtaining exposure on your gloves, freeing up your Arcanist brand to apply flame surge where you otherwise would need to cast it yourself up until that point. Then, obtain the Gravitius Unveiled Fizz Taken as Fire and Lightning on your body armor, the Regenerate ES Unveiled mod on your belt, filling everything else with resistance, life, and suppression. Your main damage now is Vol Detonate Dead, linked with Ignite Prolif, Unbound Ailments, Cruelty, and Swift Affliction with your 6th socket on the body armor being Flame Surge until you obtain your Exposure Gloves. You'll have Arcanist Brand linked to Elemental Weakness, Flammability, and Wave of Conviction 
until exposure glows. Your auras are Determination, Grace, Tempest Shield, and Defiance Banner. With your cast and damage taken setup being linked to Molten Shell, both remaining at level 1, your movement ability will be Shield Charge, linked to faster attacks, and a Flame Dash, linked with faster casting and Desecrate. And lastly, you'll have a Blessing setup, linked with Inspiration to reduce its cost, and a Haste to increase your clear speed and comfortability. Your early game passives are just going to be Super Generic Ignite Witch Tree. You take Ellie Overload, you reach over to Templar for Reservation, Fire, and Elemental Damage, and you reach over to Shadow for its Corpse Nodes, Suppression Wheel and Mastery, the additional Curse, and the Eldritch Battery Keystone, enabling an additional aura and letting you drop your Mana Flasks. For your mid-game gearing, this is a nice time to pick up Obliteration to increase your clear speed if your damage is comfortable enough already and a death rush with at least 2 seconds of adrenaline on kill to boost your damage and clear speed. Craft the It That Fled Unveiled Fire as Extra Chaos mod on your shield, the Corel Fizz Taken as Fire on your helmet, alongside the same implicit and increased cast speed, a Gravitious Unveiled Body Armor alongside the generic Aura and Determ Effect Implicits, making sure to take the Life Mastery if your Body Armor has no Life Mods. The Exposure Implicit on your gloves and Scorch Implicit on your boots with Dot Multi and Effect of Non-Damage Ailments on your amulet. Craft the Shock Focus Unveiled Suffix onto your ring. And lastly, retain the Energy Shield Regen mod on your belt, but now use a Crystal Belt base. Fill everything else out with Resistances, Life, and Suppression until you're Suppress Capped. Now that you have Exposure Gloves, you're simply adding Burning Damage as your 6th Vol DD link and replacing Wave of Conviction with Flame Surge in your Arcanist brand. Everything else remains the same. Now that you're further in maps, we'll respect the build a little bit more to grab some efficient damage, pick up some faster Ignites, some Attack and Cast Speed with Life from Shadow, and the Elemental Focus Nodes now that we have Shock to increase with non-damaging ailments from our ring. In the end game, you're going to flesh your character out completely and the gear will be tight. Most gear here follows this formula. Purchase a fractured suffix, spam a resistance or stat essence until you obtain a third high tier suffix, and craft life or eldritch craft life, finishing the item with a craft and its implicits. For your scepter, Obtain an Elemental Overload Heist Base, spamming Misery Essences until Dot Multi, and annulling down for a Multi Mod. Your shield is packed with Suppression, Res, and Life, adding the Fire as Extra Chaos Craft. Your helmet, gloves, boots, and ring are all Fractured Bases, spammed with Essences and finished with a Craft, with Implicits where possible. Your Body Armor is Fractured Essencing Spam too. Make sure you Eldritch Craft High Armor and Evasion here, to help hit the 95% evade cap, finishing with the Gravitious Craft and the Generic Aura Effect with a higher tier Grace Aura Effect, which will also assist in hitting that evade cap. Your amulet is the same as mid game, potentially squeezing in some stats or resistances where you can or need, with your second ring now being Replica Emberwake, catalyzed with elemental catalysts to boost your Ignite Faster mod. With your belt, being high res, life, energy shield, and the regen mod. Your end game skill setup is Vol DD, Ignite Prolift, Awakened Unbound Ailments, Swift Affliction, and Burning Damage, with Cruelty as your sixth link. You'll have Cast of Damage taken linked with Molten Shell, both still level 1, a level 21 Determination and Grace, the exact same Arcanist brand and Desecrate setup with your Blessing now dropping Inspiration, so that we can exchange your Defiance Banner with a Dread Banner linked to Generosity setup, which will boost your Evasion rating, helping us hit that 95 Evade cap. Lastly, you'll still use Tempest Shield for its Shock Immunity and blocking a quarter of all spells, with Shield Charge and Faster Attacks still as your main movement. Large changes to the passive tree here are adding a Brutal Restraint 
making sure to get a few notables with evasion rating or aura effect, which is one of the final pieces of the 95 evade chance puzzle. The last piece of that puzzle is a watcher eye with a high rolled flat 8% plus chance to evade attacks while affected by grace mod. Lastly, you'll add an energized armor on the left side of Templar, picking up the hybrid armor and energy shield nodes to boost your armor up to 40,000, nearly maxing your molten shell. One final thing is to make sure you unspec elemental overload if you obtained the high space or Keep it spec if you do not yet have that base. Some further upgrades you can do would be subbing out my additional defense options for more damage if that's what you prefer, or checking out the bossing skill and tree setup for when you'd like to tackle the endgame pinnacle or uber bosses. Anyways, detonate dead elementalist TPB style. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, tell me why to boost the algorithm. And if you talk too much mad shit, I will shadow ban you. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next guide video. Let me know which one you'd like to see. And I'll definitely read every single comment and listen to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.